Hello everyone and welcome back to the FRC Historian. Recently I just did some research and I found something very interesting about the district point system. For those of you who, haven't know, who don't know about it, district points are a system where a district system announces how many points a team will get based on wins, awards, how they do in the playoffs, their rankings, and then a district picks a number of teams with the highest scores to go on to the district championship where a number of teams from that will move on to the championship where at a regional, as you know, the winners, the wildcard slots, the chairman's award, the EI, all go on to the championship. The district championship takes a number of teams in the highest ranking and moves them on, with Michigan being the most because there are a lot of teams and the Israeli being the least because there aren't as many teams. But for those of you who didn't know, I found the maximum amount of district points you can possibly get. And if you were wondering this question, I know some people were. It's the, uh, I found out with help from looking at a team from Texas. So now right now, a lot of people have been saying that a team may have maxed a score, but I actually found the max score you can possibly get. And if you're wondering what that is, it's actually uh, 164 district points. Now I'll tell you how I got that. Because, for instance, a team right now who is uh, pretty high up there in Michigan is the Killer Bees with 151. And I'm going to let you know why the most you can get is 164. So, for those of you who did not know, the maximum amount of points on a team you normally get from a district, if you win a district and then get an award, so let's say that you were rank 1 district winner with no other awards, you get 68 district points. Now, if you win the district and get an award such as EE or Industrial Design, something like that, like a smaller award or safety award, you get 73 points, which is the normal one that a lot of teams get. For instance, right now, Robonauts and Robo Wranglers have 73 points each from each of the districts. However, when you win the Chairman's Award, you get 10 district points. When you get EI, you get 8 district points. Now, I don't know of any cases where a team has won a district chairman's award in more than once in the same district so please let me know if you know of any examples of this I'd love to see it and as well as that there's something called the safety award so for those of you who didn't know with awards no one wins the chairman's award as well as another award for the most part maybe GP but I've never seen that before the safety award is independent of the other awards whereas when it comes to judged awards the judges choose one team to win the ultimate honor that is the chairman's award and they don't get anything else. The safety award is independent of this. So for instance, one team I see this from is uh, Team 5431, Titan Robotics in memory of Jordan Grant, where this team went to the District Plano event. They became Rank 1 Regional winners who won the Chairman's Award and Safety Award, giving themselves 83 district points, which is 10 more than the one that Rank 1 Regional winners get with an award. So, it had they gone on to the 2nd District Rank 1 Regional Winner with EI, they would have gotten 81 points, which is a possibility, because there are a lot of teams, like, for instance, if you go to uh, Texas right now, if you look at the Texas District, Rank 1 isn't 118 or 148 or 3310. It's 2468. Everyone's favorite team appreciates. And... With this team, they got two districts of 76, one with the district chairman's award being the first pick of their alliance, and then the second being rank one winner with EI. But they didn't get the safety award at any one time. So for those of you who are wondering, if you want to get the maximum district points and max it out, no team has ever done it. 164 points is the most you can get. No team has it that I've been able to see, but that is the maximum amount of points you can get in a district, and I'd love to see a team do it. Thank you all for listening, and I'll post and update more first things later.